Hi, this is Mark Whitaker of WebCity 4X. I'm going to go ahead and add an indicator to the 40 SMA. I'm going to make it an exponential 5 moving average. Go ahead and open up the indicators like we did the first time in the first video and we're going to select moving average again use all time frames levels we won't have any there and then uh, we're just going to go ahead and hit five in the period to shift to zero we're going to look for an exponential we're going to leave the closed on the closed and we're going to choose something else i'm going to choose uh, gold and I'm going to use the second thickness. I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. So now we see the five exponential average. And we have the 40 SMA. What I'm going to do really quickly here is I'm going to go ahead and finish up this video. And uh, notice that there's a very large gap in between the 40 and the 5 exponential. It's, it's narrow. It bounces off the 40 SMA and it continues down and it shows um, resistance here, shows support here, shows support here, and we broke the support line here and that makes the smooth moving average in a short position so it's actually going to go lower on the price action so the price action remains lower than the 40 SMA and the 5 exponential tells us uh, which direction it is moving on the last 5 bars and on the 40 it's the last 40 bars and that's how we come up with the moving average thank you very much